They are everywhere. In your homes, at your schools, at your office, and in your cities. You are probably surrounded by them right now. Microwave technology is all around you. From studying far-off galaxies to wireless communication, many of the devices we use daily rely on microwaves' electromagnetic radiation. But what is microwave radiation? And how do we use this radiation in our day-to-day -day lives? In a nutshell, microwaves are a type of electromagnetic radiation. Electromagnetic radiation is transmitted at different wavelengths and frequencies. These broad ranges of wavelengths are known as the electromagnetic spectrum. This spectrum includes radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays. Microwaves sit right between radio waves and infrared on the electromagnetic spectrum. They have frequencies that range from 300 megahertz and 300 gigahertz. This gives them a set of properties that makes them ideal for a range of technologies. Aside from their use in heating food, microwaves are easily attenuated within shorter distances, travel in a straight line, and are reflected by conducting surfaces. They can easily flow through a thin layer of cable and require only low power. You will find that microwave radio transmissions are utilized for point-to-point -point communications. For example, between mobile devices, microwaves are used as a medium for transmitting information. Any information sent from a mobile device to another is sent via microwaves to the nearest cell tower and then beamed to its respective destination. This is how you can send messages, video clips, photos, and memes of your cats to your family and friends. Microwaves also play an essential part in satellite communication. Because of their unique properties, microwaves can make it through the ionosphere, whereas lower frequencies tend to either bounce off the ionosphere or are absorbed and dissipated by it. Tasks that rely on satellite communication, especially from geostationary satellites, such as television transmission, earth monitoring for weather information, and cellular phone technology, all depend on microwaves. Microwave technology is also used in cardiology, oncology, otolaryngology, and dental treatments. For example, using a minimally invasive technique known as microwave ablation, doctors can destroy some types of tumors. In the military, radar technology works by sending out a short burst of microwaves. When these waves hit an object, they are reflected back to a receiver. There is also a growing arsenal of microwave weapons available to military personnel. In one specific case, the Pentagon has recently unveiled its high-powered microwave weapon. The device is capable of knocking a drone out of the sky using several intense blasts of microwave radiation. Microwave technology really is everywhere. However, this begs the question, does all this microwave exposure negatively affect humans? Microwave radiation can heat body tissue the same way it heats food. As a result, exposure to intense bursts of microwaves can damage tissue and cause burns. However, you probably won't be exposed to this much radiation at once, as governments strictly regulate the use of microwaves in consumer products. Likewise, many studies have looked at the impact microwaves have on our bodies, and there is currently no consistent evidence that it increases the risk of cancer. This is because cancer-causing forms of radiation are those with high enough frequencies to ionize atoms or molecules. This includes X-rays, gamma rays, and some ultraviolet radiation. Thankfully, microwaves don't fall into this category.